Hello and welcome. Welcome to the basement, excuse me. I just made one more little trip over. I don't have a whole lot of time. But I did find a couple of things. And there was one charge to look. It's a ram expander for a Vic 20. It's an 8K. Looks lovely. And I found this old Becker's bag. I was like, well, what, what could be in here? What could possibly be? But the Becker's bag is somewhat ripped. Becker's, I don't even know if they're still around. Probably not. Anyway, this can go. Anyway, I found a thing. Oh, this is so sad. Look. It's so you can re do the name on your 8032 and you upgrade it to an 8096 but actually remembering back I'm sure this thing was bent and folded over when I first got it which is tragic because of course a lot of people did like the fact that their machine did say what it was now I don't think there's any way I can really rescue this but I suppose I could put it on a machine that had nothing as best it can be. Anyway, but more importantly, in the box, of course, there's the Commodore warranty sticker. Installation instructions for the 64K memory expand. What is this? Demo instructions. Okay, so... Here we have all kinds of things. This CBM expansion memory board, user's guide, software addendum, part number 324065-1, July 1981. Okay, so, and here are two discs, which I'm assuming. You know, the right protect sticker is coming off. I'm going to take it off because in this state, it's just going to get stuck. Don't want that. This one is the 4040. I imagine it has the testing programs. And this one is for the 8050. I'm imagining it has the programs to test this. Ah! Ah. All these years, throw the disc down. Anyway, this could be handy. I'm sure the programs are out there somewhere online, and you can download them through an SD thing or whatever. But I'll have to test these discs and see what's what, and keep this aside. And I wish this didn't have the crease in it that it does. Oh, but it does. Damn, 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 damn. But looking back, I seem to remember that whenever I got this thing. This thing was already kind of squirrely. So, this is an exciting find. This too will go up to the pet room. Because I know somewhere up there, well, I know one of the things I have is an 8296. And I would like to think that these testing things will test the RAM on the 8296 as well as the 86, 80, uh, 8096. And oh, for those that don't know, an 8032 was like a pet. Except it was an 80 column, 32K. And it didn't say pet, it said Commodore Business Machines. Still remember this doofus that I knew in high school who had a small screen pet. But he didn't have a pet. Oh, no, no. Even it was exactly the same thing. Because it said CBM Commodore Business Machines. Anyway, people did like sort of a status thing. No matter what their machine started off as, if they upgraded, they liked to have things noted on the front so people knew that they did, just didn't have 32K. They had 96. Or certainly, you wouldn't want to have a super pet that didn't say super pet. Anyway, I will have to test these discs, set this aside carefully, and... Go from there. So indeed, more things to go. Actually, this the RAM cartridge. I'm going to put in the box from the previous video. These things I'm going to leave here for the day while I head off. 
and I will carefully find a spot upstairs to put them and then see. Perhaps I will try to run them on the 8296, but not right now because I've got, you know, I have to keep on decluttering, dehoarding, desorting, or sorting. I do. Anyway. And now, oh, I have to see if I can get this disc off the floor. And I can. And I did, and I shall. So good. This, consider, you know what? Even though it might make any difference, this is a tray. I'll put this on there. It's not going to matter. It's already damaged. It's already creased. And they just don't look good if they're just not so. They just don't. So, that's it. That's all. It's early in the morning. Gotta go. Have a lovely, lovely day. Yep, there's my alarm going off. Bye for now.